guys welcome back to my channel my name is coach Coco and I love volleyball so much so my channel is full of tips tricks hacks and anything you could ever need to know about volleyball so I've been getting a lot of DMs recently talking about confidence how do you find it where is it how do you get it on the court let's talk about it So many many moons ago, I played volleyball on a court just like you. And one of the things that was really hard for me to understand was that confidence. I felt like I compared myself to others. I felt like I wasn't in the same space as other people. I felt like I wasn't good enough. And that was really difficult for me to overcome. But one of the things that really helped me overcome that was finding confidence within myself. So today I'm gonna to give you three things that you should be doing in order to find confidence within yourself. If you're new here, please do me the favor of subscribing and sharing this channel with somebody who needs it. Don't mind the dogs back here doing their thing, but share this with somebody who needs it. My goal by the end of the year is to get to 200,000 subscribers. That would be so awesome. And I'm so glad that you guys are here with me today. So confidence is something that is Something evasive, we look for it a lot. We can't necessarily find it. Um, we want it. It's something that I talk about in all of my videos before, telling you to be confident, be confident. But what does that actually mean? How do I really find my confidence, Coco? So here are some things that I'm gonna do. The first thing you need to do is you need to take a second to yourself to take a deep breath. <sighs> Realize that the confidence that you're looking for is already within you. That sounds crazy. I know, I thought so too, but it is. If you are not your biggest supporter, who is gonna support you? You have to really believe in your skills and abilities in order for other people to believe that too. So that means that when you go to practice, don't look to compare yourself so easily to other people. Don't think that you have to compare yourself to others in order to succeed or feel like because Stacy's doing this or because Jennifer's doing this, if I'm not doing it just like them, then I'm not that good. That's not true at all. I think he's smiling at you guys. Say hey, say hey. Don't, that's not true at all. You are your best player and sometimes you can be your worst player. What does that mean? You can be your best friend and sometimes you can be your worst friend. It's all about what you say to yourself. So I tell my players all the time, what are you saying to yourself when you're playing? Are you saying things like, I'm gonna get the ball, I'm gonna get really good and get at the ball? Or are you gonna say, I can't serve. I know I can't serve, serving's not for me, I just can't do it. Are you saying those things to yourself and that's what you're hearing in your mind when you're serving? A lot of you guys are working on your serve right now, but I want you to try one thing when you first start. The next time you're about to serve a ball, I want you to be conscious of what you're thinking to yourself. Are you telling yourself that you're gonna get the serve? Or are you telling yourself, I'm not gonna get it? Those phrases and those statements really do carry a lot of weight. If you keep saying those negative things to yourself, don't you think eventually you're going to start to believe it? Absolutely. You have to make sure to tell yourself the right things so that way you can start believing the right things. So for me, I had to really, really tell myself when I was gonna attack the ball that I was gonna get it over. Even when I made a mistake, I couldn't keep using that same mistake that I had already made and feel like I'm just gonna keep building off of that and I'm just gonna make a mistake every time. I couldn't think that way because when I did think that way, I wasn't gonna get the hit. I had to go into it like a completely new, like completely new. I had to go in there like I was gonna, I was gonna kill it, it was my ball, it's it, because I had to go in there positively. So I want you to first think about that. What are some things you're gonna positively tell yourself? Number two, reassurance seeking. That's when you go to other people and you say, how did that hit look? How did my serve look? Did it look really good? And when you do that, do you think that's really helping you? Or is that basing the opinion of others and make you feel valid? Oh, did I call you out? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to call you out like that, but you have to start getting to the place where even if you served it, you have to believe that the serve was really good. You have to believe that. 
You can't ask somebody else, how did you think my serve looked? I mean, unless you're asking for constructive feedback, that's cool. Sometimes we need another vision to tell us if how it was looking, but I mean constantly. How did my hit look? Do you think I do you think I'm a good hitter? Do you think I'm a good server? Do you think I do you think I can set? Oh, you think you guys think I can set? I can't set. You know that that downplaying when people do, they're like, I can't set. People are like, yeah, you can. And you're like, thanks. We want to keep from doing that because all it does is reassure you and keep you in that reassurance cycle, and you'll just keep looking for that satisfaction. Keep fishing for compliment. There we go. They keep fishing for you, keep fishing for it. You have to start believing it. Oh, Got a good serve? Oh, I did good. I mean, I'm serving good. You have to, but your opinion matters most of all. Your opinion matters most of all. Number three, setting goals. Goal setting is a great way to get your confidence up because sometimes when we're learning a new skill for the first time and we haven't seen any growth in a long time, we'll think and go, oh my God, I said I was gonna get my serve by December. It's December, I can't get my serve over. But little did you know, your serve is closer, your form looks better, you're more confident, but you can't see those little things in the moment because you're so focused on your serve right now. And that's just the way life is. Sometimes we're so focused on the right now, we don't see, how far we've come. So one thing I want you to do today is I want you to take some time to set a goal. Set a goal right now. Write something down, set a goal. I want you to put time, and we wanna set a SMART goal, which is specific, measurable, measurable attainable, realistic, and time-based. So it's not enough to just say, I wanna serve by December. You have to say, I want to learn how to serve by December by practicing this, and I'm going to do it by this. Make it very specific so that way you can look at it. And every time you're feeling discouraged within yourself and you're like, oh my God, I'm sucking. I want you to look back at that goal and say, wow, okay. I said I was going to do it. I'm doing better. It's all about that confidence. And that's the one way you're going to build confidence from within. It's one thing for me to tell you these generic tips and tricks of how to be confident, where to find confidence, but you have to really do that work inside right here. It's in you, it's in what you say to yourself, it's what you see, it's what you read, your confidence is within you. And if you found this video, this means that you're looking to really truly become more confident. And that means starting to say those positive things to yourself. I, for one, really like to say positive things to myself and they're called positive affirmations. I try to look at them from time to time and I look at them and I say to myself, okay, okay, I'm manifesting that, that happiness. I'm manifesting that, that um, positive spirit. I really want to find positivity in my life. So if you have to say anything to yourself, say something positive. I really hope that you like this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.